Welcome to the September 24th meeting of the Needham Council for Arts and Culture. As a reminder, this meeting is being broadcast to the town's YouTube channel and also via Zoom and is being recorded for publication later during and administrative purposes. We'll start with the roll call. So welcome, everybody. Um, I'm here. Joni's here. Abby. Abby's not here. Abby's not here. Amy's not here. Rita's here. Steve is not here. Lanya, no. Jean, welcome in your life. <laughs> Amy is, she, oh, she said she wasn't here. Yeah, she said she's not here. Tracy yeah. is here. Christine, yeah. Michael, no. Lana, yes. Yes. Um, Wendy, yeah. yes. and Charlene, yes. and Shona, no. Um, so welcome everybody. Um, so did everyone have a chance to view the past minutes? Yes. It's a long ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would someone like to, would anyone have, um, anybody want to make a motion to accept them? I move that we accept the minutes. I second it. And it's accepted. Um, do a treasure update? So we had three different that we talked about last time. Um, for the 2022-23, we still had two grants that were paid out. One of them was returned, and the person had said that they were not they were not going to do the event. One person did not respond, and the grant was technically expired. So there were one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Should we want to move them uh, back into the budget? Back into the budget? Yes. How much did you say? One thousand two hundred fifty. That's into the grants mm -hmm. budget, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's good. Right, so we're going to have them, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we're that because we've got the just automatically the box. It's automatically. Do we have to move to accept that or does it automatically move back? Yeah, it's okay. just, right. so I remember we did that a couple of times. And that goes into the end and, and that will go back into the grant. The grant, right? Mm -hmm. So I go back into the grant side. Okay. All right. Then for last year, which is 2023 to 2024, uh, we still have MCC funds, which is 5,984 that are left over. Um, we are starting to receive reimbursements of the nine remaining grants. 20 had already submitted, 29 were approved. So nine remaining. So uh, once we start to approve those and reimburse those, uh, there'll be a different number to update. But this is five thousand nine hundred appears. The end number funds from last year, which is from the NCC fund. <coughs> NCC funds. Mass Cultural Council. Okay. So that means that that money is going to grants that are already working. That are, yes. yes. We're just waiting for their paperwork. So it's spoken for. Okay. Um, then for this year's uh, funds, we have a total of 17,700 in grants. We have a separate 3,342 uh, from a separate town um, budget that we can use. And during last meeting, we had said we would set aside 1,800 for discretionary or uh, special funds. Um, 
Then there is a separate third fund which is going to be used for there's a ten thousand dollars of uh, fund from the town that can be used for activities such as the Chapel Street mural. Uh, of that, <clears throat> three designs of three hundred dollars each were reimbursed. So what is remaining there is nine thousand one hundred dollars. So this is in addition to the seventeen thousand. Yes. Yeah. Right. And to that seventeen thousand seven hundred, we add the twelve fifty. Now we can add that. Yes. Okay. So that will give us eighteen nine fifty. Yeah, it's a nice chunk of change for grants this year. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the update this time. Great. Mm, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll move on. Any questions? Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to the grant cycle overview. Um, mm -hmm. There's. Two thing, two things that were added um, by the MCC, the Mass Cultural Council, that I just want to bring up and have you decided we want to include it or not. And they now say it's okay to include funding for food and scholarships. Um, so I don't know if any, did you have any thoughts? If anyone has any thoughts on that? What did you say? Food or food? Food, food and scholarships. Food, food meaning? Food. I mean, honestly, I don't think we've ever gotten like food. this kind of food. Is that what you mean? Food. So oh. food for not Rents. for us. No, <laughs> for not for events. For events. So I had. Uh, oh, I guess for an event. So if they it's want events. to serve, like Correct. have a concert and cookies, that they can include that. Is that I what think, that means? I think. Well, the way I interpreted it was um, because I don't think that personally. I don't think that we should be funding refreshments. But however, for something like um, the multicultural fair, and some people have talked about, I might be incorrect, but I think there was some discussion about that could they have food there as part of it. So I think if it's integral to the actual event and not just refreshments, that would be something I feel comfortable <laughs> considering and if anybody feels otherwise. So it's not, it's not for like us to promote like tonight we're having an open house right if we got food we're not for that to, no because this, well, this no, is specific to grants that would be from our right yeah I this know. is specific to grants the okay. thing about the multicultural okay. fair is that each group provided their own mm -hmm. culturally right. connected so so for some, i think it would be for something different like <laughs> if we wanted to provide cookies to the harvest fair or get candy or something like uh, that. It was, no, it was my yeah. understanding that they're talking about grants, not for our own, like to, that money. So the two things that they are allowing us to pay oh, money yeah. for are those two things. I it again, but it's not, it wasn't particularly clear. Um, if it's for grants, that doesn't make sense. Then, you know, <laughs> well, or for scholarship. So right. somebody's saying so we want, we want somebody to have, applies for a scholarship through our grant funding. So right. if someone came through the grant mm -hmm. process and said yeah. they'd want to create a new scholarship in X amount of dollars and describe the criteria for which they would award it, right. we could consider that. Yeah. That one was clear. The food one I'm very unclear on. Uh, yeah. if, it's, if it's part of the whole event, like the, the art exhibit, and they want to have refreshments as part of it, like. I do think that enhances the experience and it allows for fellowship after you go to a concert to linger so, in the hallway and talk with someone over a cup of tea and a cookie. And if that's part of it, then. So were they saying if I yeah, wanted yeah. to apply for a, a grant for just the food? Oh, no. Or would it be oh, part, so part of it? Part of it. So why don't you just. Why do you have to even specify? Food? Because normally in the in past, past we haven't, wasn't allowed. Yeah. We haven't given it's money not allowed. Allowed. So um, on the food part, I think mm -hmm. it's definitely great to have food for like something like multicultural mm -hmm. festival or the event I used to run before. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times it's not like we want to do like a full size meal or anything, but if we can offer some individually wrapped snacks for them to grab, I think it's just going to be great. Also on the food part, I wanted to clarify our, because for a lot of those events, there are volunteers and usually it goes across lunchtime. And I think it would be awesome if that um, can be attributed to the volunteer 
food, like lunch, like a pizza, because for the event I run, we just basically, the CFN just funded the volunteer lunch. It would be great if the, the grant can include that, but I'm not sure if that is clarified. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then, would, would that be a percentage of the net amount that we do? Like, how would we? I don't think we would be changing the amount that we grant each request. I think what we can do is say to them, "You are now allowed to purchase food as part of this grant." Oh, where okay. before they knew they weren't. Then we should have a food budget. No I, I, no, no, no. If, no, no, I don't think we should have a food budget. I agree with what you said. Yeah. Because what is the mandate of an arts and cultural council? Mm -hmm. It's not to provide food. Yeah. Uh, um, but but, but, if, but if the grant, no. if, the, if the person that we award to mm -hmm. wants to use a portion of that for food, mm -hmm. then if we have... Oh, I see what you're saying, within the money that's going. Yeah, it's yeah, up, yeah, to, it's up to their discretion, but... but He's saying mm -hmm. that you can do it, but right. we don't have a separate mm -hmm. price. There's, mm -hmm. there's some flaws about food now. There's money allocated for food. Is that what you said earlier? Or no. what is the They're allowed to use, use the grant, grant for oh, other yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas before, it was not allowed. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I know from somebody in Wellesley mm -hmm. that I know, the chair of their cultural council, they um, made a big deal out of how much food was part of cultural events and that I think either started or or helped push the MCC to see that um, and therefore now they can use it towards me. So but it's their discretion. If we give them $200, they want to blow all $200 on food and get money. From, that's their choice. We can't police or monitor and say, you know, send us a receipt from Sudbury Farms. I think we will go crazy. Yeah. Are we planning to increase then the budget a little bit more for those who would like to mm -hmm. purchase food now? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I think food is one part. I think it also affects the insurance. Because well, if you provide and then that's, that's all of their business, business not yeah. ours. Yeah. If you yeah. give a grant to someone to produce something and they spend it all on food something's gone terribly wrong. Well, yeah, I don't think that's mm -hmm. going to happen. I don't, I don't either. either. Okay. But, you know, I think that they, um, I think that's why they can use their discretion and figure out what they want to oh. do. A lot of these groups get grants from several different towns <clears throat> because they perform or they present in several different towns. So they may get $250, let's say from four towns which probably doesn't really cover all of their expenses anyway, but if they want to take $200 of that and buy food because that enhances what they're doing, that's, you know, that's, that's their business. That's their business. And that's why I think it's, I, that's why I, I, I would like to propose that if it seems relevant to the event and it feels like it's really enriching the event, that it would be okay. But if they're saying we want, milk and cookies for our after school program or, <laughs> right i don't probably not. <laughs> so, i don't think we should either either even do that because it's their business how they want to spend the money and we're not going to increase our grant for that and they don't have to let us know they just need to know that now <laughs> they are legally allowed to use part of the money but they do have to say in the budget that the money's being used. Right. That's yeah. that's why we have to let them know before. So if they say, you know, five percent is being used for food, that's great. If they say seventy-five percent is being used for food, uh, that would be a little bit of a concern. But it depends. It's well, I I I I think that we. I, I agree with Joni. I don't think we should specify. I think that we should say it's allowable in terms of the law. Because I have to say that from my perspective, if if there's something that I've got to see and a lot of it's going to food, I'm going yeah. to nix it. Mm -hmm. I won't, I'll say, I don't think we should give a grant to these people. Because that's not our purpose. It's arts and culture. Okay. And, and people could argue that food is part of their culture. Well, you know, a lot of things are part of the culture. Mm -hmm. but, but, but I think if we just say that it's allowable in terms of the law, but not specify, because then I think we go down a different rabbit hole where we start getting people asking for a lot of money for food. 
there's also something that I thought about when I read that, which is um, what about a group that decides that they want to do a Brazilian food fair and bring Brazilian foods to their town and introduce them, whatever. I'm just pulling that out of. So this is what I have. This is what that something we want. Is that something that we want to fund? Is that, that, fund? Is that mm -hmm. even legal under arts and culture? Well, it, culture. Could, it, it could be now. a food demonstration that, yeah. of some specific culture. So we should Correct. probably just take it as it goes and not. Right. Yeah, I don't think not should. Should. So we want to allow for part of the budget. You can't. Yeah. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Right. So, so, okay, so we have to let's take a vote yeah. all those in favor of the yeah. uh, yeah. no, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. What are you going to vote on that anyway? Because the food is part of the budget. No, because we need to set our own. Oh, okay. All right. So do we want to, is there any allowance of food in their budget lines when they send in a budget no. i think it, it's fine and once we get their application and see what see what's what's what happens, then we'll make a decision individual basis right. so totally so agree. all those in favor of considering food and an individual basis okay yep. is there anybody against <clears throat> okay so okay I guess I just I added that. So. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that's a yes. Yeah. Majority rule. Okay. Um, so, so um, and then scholarship, which was very vague too. So I guess that would just be if somebody wanted to set up a scholarship. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen one for wanting a scholarship. <laughs> Have you? The only thing I spoke to the Wellesley person about was setting up a NCAC scholarship for a high school senior as a yearly part of our grants funding. I like that. I think it's great. Right. I, like I think so any yeah. scholarship that has to do with the arts or yeah. culture in our yeah. town yeah. for like a student, it. for an, for an, Going to an, an older adult, it doesn't matter who it is. As a college or as a career. I so think as they a, should be considered as well. As a scholarship, are we allocating a certain amount of money every year to this? Is we can take, I believe, do you know, I think we can take it from you, the arts and make it a grant, you know. Yes. Are you wondering if student A gets the scholarship, if that's going to be a repeated thing so that throughout their four years of college, no, 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 no,
so can yes, we, but that's still for a separate discussion. Can we, we want to know do if we, we have are going to grant money to other people? Or? Do we have to make a decision now or can we just move well, on? Well, the grant cycle, you know, we're going to start divvying it up, I suppose. Right. So, because the next the next time we meet, you're going to be reviewing your grants. So we should, so yeah, we kind of should decide. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I, I don't know your name. You don't have. I, I, that's why I'm the only one who doesn't have. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I liked Wendy's idea that it shouldn't just be a student. It could be anyone from the community of any age, because I think that opens it up a lot. Because I think there are. I mean, you'll often get someone who the kids are suddenly left home and they suddenly go into whatever it is they're going into. So I think an all age thing. And, and I think that to get this, does it benefit the town? Yes, it does. If that person achieves some renown in their area of art, um, it's always going to be a person from Needham. Well, it also could, on that note, it could be any age, and maybe it's somebody who's doing something for the town. So I don't know if that goes back to, is it a grant or is it a scholarship? I don't know that, what is the difference? Can I say just that it sounds like we're saying that in, in the right circumstances, this would be something we would approve. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. can we move forward with that? And yeah. then what, we're yeah. gonna see what we get. And Good then, idea. Uh, called the Needham Genius Grant. <laughs> Okay. Does sound like there's so we are to have an NCAC scholarship, and that warrants a discussion at a future meeting. It right. Sounds to me like right. there's a lot so of the yeah. around the table, mm -hmm. and it gets our name out there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, there'd be a lot of interest Absolutely. in that. Yeah. Yeah. Goodwill. So, yeah. a lot of goodwill. Do we want to move then to? Yay or nay scholarship depending on yes. circumstances. Yes. Yes. Yay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, to be yeah. To be yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the next, do you want to finish up with the um, mm -hmm. with the grant cycle? Then mm -hmm. do you want to say anything else? About um, the grant cycle. I will just tell you one thing: finding your grants in the um, MCC panel book. Such fun. Um, they're not in any particular order, so it takes a little bit of time. But when Heather and I give them out, we give you in succession. We give you the grants to review in succession. You can print them. I suggest printing out because I'm a paper person. I write on them. I make notes. I, mm -hmm. I ask questions on them. Sometimes I've got to call the people. You can print out page, you know, page 50 to page 80. Yeah, don't print out the whole thing. Don't print out the whole thing <laughs> by accident. It's mm -hmm. maybe 1,200 pages long. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Um, well, it depends on how many grants we get. Each grant is usually about four to five pages long. Um, they're fun to review. You can go on websites, and I, I thoroughly urge you to research a group, see what they've done, see all kinds of stuff about them, and then be prepared when we come back. We'll give you a list of criteria and be prepared when you come back to briefly um, express for each one of your grants uh, yes or no and why. So you will, before our next meeting, you'll actually be getting your grant you, Yeah, you will be. And you'll be reviewing them. So at the next meeting, you'll bring your reviews to us. So please feel free to contact us. Yeah. Um, if and you can't have, get them, you all have your MCC login and password and, and I brought, all, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna and we'll send you this is what we're gonna send you right. it's a grant evaluation. Mm -hmm. So you right. can this go through is, this this is, it's not like the end all be all, but it's just a it's just a it helps. It helps you it helps, it helps you with that and you should <laughs> read through and we'll send you we'll send oh, you this so you can print it up yourself. Right. I'll um, send it to you. you put one for yeah, I think they're going to send it to And it's just right here, and then it helps right you rate the grant if you think it fits. Right. And you should also look at um, our priorities again. So we'll, we can send right. a link to that priorities and, again for your review. And look at the MCC um, grant priorities and grant guidelines. They have a lot of interesting stuff on their website. 
Yeah. Well, the LCC took care right. of it. Right. 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 And then the FCC took care of it. Are we each working individually or do we work So together? what we do is we'll, we will um, assign everybody will get two to three grants that you'll be responsible for. Right. You'll be responsible for reviewing them. And then um, you, you may or may not come to a decision on that at that first meeting. You, you'll say like, oh, Sometimes it's really obvious when you say, I just don't think we can fund this. It doesn't fit anything. It's not benefiting us. And sometimes it'll be really clear. And sometimes you might have to go back after the meeting. Somebody might bring something up to you, like, you should check with this person to see, ask them X, Y, Z. Correct. Um, so you might have to go back to that person. And you might end up going back to that person before the first meeting. But sometimes something will come up in that first meeting. Um, so we'll just. So it's also important that everybody read through the whole panel book because then we just feel like more yeah. able to participate. You should look through all of them and see, you know, yeah. what kinds. I mean, I'm hoping we get a lot more applications this year. I'm always hoping we get more applications. It does make a little bit more work for us, but um, we have more money this year, and I'd like to spread it around to more people and more artists. Um, so we do <clears throat> just make a note for yourselves of the things that we're not allowed to fund. We can't fund equipment. Um, I think we know that. <laughs> I had a list. I've never, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a list of do not. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have that mm -hmm. and you can share I, it. I have it at home. I And I had it in my head. and. Mm -hmm. For I know equipment because we've gotten requests for we got a request last year for twenty thousand dollars worth of sound equipment. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean it's not that it's no different towns. No. Yeah. 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 I mean there's, there's there's I think three of them and I will find them and let you know. Just it, um can I I'll just jump in because last year I was new and I was kind of found the overall process a little daunting to think about, but it's really easy. You print out the rubric, you print out the grant. You have our objectives, you keep those off to the side. This even lists what the eligibility should do. You read the grant and then you score it. And then we're all going to talk about it. And it's we're, it's helpful if you read through the whole thing so that you get a sense of what the other grants are. And it's it's really fun. I mean, it's kind of it's why I signed up to be a part of this committee. So it's just follow the rubric and it's easy. It's a lot of fun to give away money that's not it yours. Is. <laughs> it's like shopping at someone else's money. Well, that's you do. And there's fun things going right. on. Yeah. You know, and you see groups that come back year after year. Yeah. They become better established. They're reaching a broader audience. And I'm thinking we're helping them do that. Even if it's just a little bit of their overall budget, we're still, we're helping them. And I think that that's, that's why I came on to really get art and culture and music and science. We do science too, to get that out oh, there. Yeah. Oh, we should do not know that, yeah. yeah. Well, we need the stuff to the sense, sense. But make it clear to the public. And also you'll see- Yeah, I don't think they, they do have that. like- no, they do. Oh, they do? Yeah. 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 yeah, we get a lot of science. Like robotics out. ones. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's in, a lot of these artists, we we're the sole source them. of their- yeah. It, so yeah. we make a difference with the little people, if you want to put it that way. Oh, and that's so <laughs> also, um, yeah. we do a part of the update. So far, we have four completed yeah. applications and seven drafts, seven apps, mm -hmm. seven mm -hmm. started. So seven mm -hmm. the applications in the process. <laughs> October 16th. Oh. At five o'clock mm -hmm. p.m. Mm -hmm. like it's like a month. It's eleven fifty nine. It's eleven fifty nine. Yeah. So often at the IRS. If they come in it's one minute the later, yes. like those college applications, one minute late. <laughs> <money. laughs> it's a journey in here. Um, just on the subject of wanting to get more applications, you know, I'm going to bring this up. A publicity committee. Are we going to have time to discuss that tonight? Um, if, we, if we if we if we have to stop at six and we stop to no seven. At seven. I mean at seven. Sorry, at seven and we have to we'd be in trouble. Three hours left. We have to stop at seven and so if we have time, we can discuss that. Um, so we should probably move on to. Um, 
the harvest fair and then we'll backtrack to talk to three you okay with that with Amira? okay so harvest fair um is this sunday i have for volunteers brona charlene abby casey us two the setup is between 9 and 11 but then the show goes on between 11 and 3. So we need time slots for those people. I eat nine. And well, the, they probably, we probably just need an hour to set up, right? We, so, we, we did it from 10 to 11 last year. So I can be there to say weather's good. We need help moving a table. Is there anybody else that can be there at 10 o'clock to help move a table? It's a Sunday, right? It's a Sunday, yeah. Yeah, I can be done. You'll help, me, you'll help me set up then? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I can be there at 10 too mm -hmm. if you need help. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, and I'll probably just, I'll probably, I usually end up staying, like going in and out all day. So then, um, and who would like to be, we can double up or overlap a number of people. So is there anyone that wants to be there between 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3? I'll take them all. <laughs> okay. You'll do 11 to 12? Okay. I don't um, think I can do it. I'm sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> and then 12 to 1? Is there any takers for 12 to 1? I'll take 12 to 1. I don't know that's your original list, but nothing to do. No, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> um, and then one to two, any takers? <laughs> Okay. Um, well, we have, um, and Charlene, yeah. you said you can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's just got mm -hmm. work bits. Right. Um, and then is there anybody that can be there two to three plus cleanups? I will be in and out too. And I don't think so. Who's doing one to two? Did we get that? Anybody? All right. So we'll get, I'll probably try to stay from like 11 to 1. So maybe Adam mm -hmm. can do that. Yeah. Okay. I don't mind saying that. Yeah. Listen, I'm riding my horses, so I'm happy to be there. Okay. It's all good. I love that. And then I'll be there two to, I'll make sure I'm there two to three and get any stragglers that want to help out. Right. Okay. All right. So we're set with that. Um, now on mm -hmm. to the Chapel Street mural. All right. Did everyone have a chance to read through the minutes that discuss in depth what we discussed? <laughs> okay. Everyone read through it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Should I read through it again quickly? Just so or make okay. Does anyone want to add, so we need to decide at this meeting which mural and what we're gonna do. So um did anyone have any questions? And then can we put I, yes, I would ask the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't have. You don't have it, and I don't know where it is in the database. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Is it on a is it on a Google Drive? Um, I can send everybody the link. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> has the link in her summary. Right. Right. Okay. So if you go go to Abby's and then. Abby's email and then just click on the link for the mural. We're basically deciding between two options, right? Right. It was a decision. The decision has been made that one of those it's not will be right. chosen, right? Yeah. There's right. Not a, yeah. the third and one's decision. been eliminated. One's been eliminated. So it's not an option to start over. It's one of these two. I mean, if you really yeah, feel like I do not want, want any of the owner of the building, say that. But wasn't like, the survey show a clear winner, a clear choice? The survey results. I mean, he showed 
it the yeah. weighted yeah. average showed choice, choice A at 49%, choice B at 29%, and then choice, and choice, and choice, and choice, and then choice C at 22%. So why wouldn't we just have a little go with that? I'm a marketing research person. He, like he has, so it's kind of in my blood to say, well, that, I mean, there's nothing to discuss. 49% for choice A. Like he says, I'm done. The other one. But <laughs> why, why would we discuss it? I was a troublemaker. No, I, you know, I, you know, I mean, well, because, because, you, because that is part of this is a good question. Recording in progress. Sorry, I was Sorry, trying to get the link. No, I'm going to get feedback on that computer. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm just, I was just curious. I mean, this is my first rodeo with looking at um, survey results with this group and picking mural stuff, but I mean, Jesus. why wouldn't we just go with Let's, the survey set? Well, That's a good question. Why, why have a survey at all? That's right. You can ignore the results. That's um, important. Mm -hmm. Important thing to look at. I think, I think part of the reason we do it is if it was a close call, like if it was really tight between two of them. It's it did seem like a clear winner, and mm -hmm. and um, but also if the whole council felt strongly, let's just say everybody was like, "All right, this is." I mean, the way we the way we looked at it was we looked at the votes from um, that small it's little meeting, which wasn't a large cross section, and, 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 and it was just two. People um, in this favor email, for I just three, want, um, there should be another one. Am I getting it right? Three SH people say for the first, and four people okay. were in favor of the abstract. And then we also said we do need to consider the town. And then, then there was the fact that some people also, I mean, some people also felt like, is it problematic that somebody's doing a mural that's a representation of the town and the history that they're not talking about um the indigenous people and so some people felt like would that be a problem and then when we, we had a long discussion about it do you want to share what your thoughts are or not do i even remember <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to fill in for you incorrectly no <laughs> um So you were you were saying that that this is just one aspect of what the NCAC does. It is one mural, mm -hmm. like we have the Pansy mural. Some people said maybe we would do another mural. Maybe perhaps we do a mural that is about yeah. Indigenous people, right? Um, but it's not just Indigenous people, is it? It's also your slaves. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and this this looks as though it was just white people, but that lived in Indonesia at that C? time. Huh? I'm no. talking about A. Okay, okay the so and the lady minute. Yeah, this this is like any piece of art. It is a moment in time. Yeah, and the moment in time that it's representing is what women brought to the economy of Needham through the knitting mills that created Needham as a growing burgeoning town because we had this. Um, industry. So right. was that the prompt for that? The... No, that's no. what no. she, that's what she, that was her choice. Mm -hmm. Just like our Darcy chose to do just a big pansy mm -hmm. to represent the um, development of the pansy. Mm -hmm. at, it, it's a moment in time. It is not, she, her view wasn't to expand mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. different eras. She also brought in the, the um, ornithologist who, mm -hmm. I, I didn't do some reading on him, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Why didn't I read what she wrote? Because I don't think that's what choice I say. Except I'm not going to, yeah. But yeah. does somebody have a pulled up? I do. Okay. Yeah. 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 This, and this is, by the way, everyone saw this when they voted. Mm -hmm. They they saw the that's graphic right. and they saw mm -hmm. the explanation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So the graph, the explanation is tight knit. That's the name of it. It's a deep dive into Needham's history. I was immediately drawn to the bird journals of Needham naturalist Timothy Otis Fuller and to Needham's deep ties to the knitting, knitting industry of the 19th and 20th centuries. In my work, I often explore the natural world and the connections it has with an artist or craft person's inclination or need to create with their hands. Here, I chose to illustrate a family of nesting yellow palm warblers as Fuller had a page dedicated to tracking their migration in one of his journals. And although the town's knitting industry relied mainly on machine work, the woman knitting by hand is an ode 
to the English Midlands immigrants who brought their knitting skills and knowledge to Needham in the 19th century in search of greater opportunity. This mural imagines that the warblers and Needham's knitters have come together working in harmony to build a place that both can call home. So, so, so perhaps what we need to do in future, because I'm uncomfortable with it just being like white. Uh, 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 Help me understand uh, what you mean by that. I don't, I don't understand. Well, well, that. this is a multicultural town. It's a multicultural town. And it would be nice if our murals reflected that in some way. And maybe, maybe the lesson that we can learn from this mm -hmm. is that in future, maybe we should give a prompt. In the future, maybe, but I've lived here for 46 years. And I will say in all honesty, it's only in the past two decades that it's become a multicultural town. Okay, so 20 years, it's a long time. I understand, but she was She's not reflecting that part of history. She's going back in history. She's, She's going back in the early 1900s. It's a lesson to learn. It is definitely a lesson to learn in a future. Yeah. Yeah. I can certainly bring it forward, but I yeah. agree with you. I think that, you know, that we asked the town and the town largely yeah. said yeah. this. And, and it's so, a public art, so can I, I think the town's opinion yeah. is sure. um, First of all, I don't know who really responded. Who this went out to? Was it a select group of older white people? Okay. It's easy to say, did, did young people, like students see it? Did, yeah, I don't know really who responded. Um, but um, in no way comparing a small Chapel Street mural to the Vietnam Memorial, no way. It's an exaggeration. But if you remember when that was first presented, because it wasn't realistic, people were up in arms and there was lots of protest. And now it's probably the greatest American memorial in you know, in That's Washington, um, that sometimes I guess um, you can't just go by, <laughs> I feel, polls of what people's <laughs> first reactions is because it's, it's my opinion, strictly opinion, mm -hmm. it's representative and people tend to a lot of times at first go for that. Mm -hmm. I personally, I'm keeping it short, I like the non-representational mural because it's an alley, mm -hmm. people just go up and down, they zip up and down. Uh, I feel that it would be, you know, enjoyable, a pleasure just to see some shapes, colors, forms, whatever, non-representational, that it was basically just more appropriate for the space. Nothing against the other mural. Although if we did the other mural, I think we would have to put some type of explanation because I looked at it and I said, well, what is we it? We would do it with any mural. Yeah. yeah. Oh, with the abstract one? No, with the... It was, with this one, yeah. Oh. There's so, have to be some explanation. I know, I know color, color, but I have a question. So mm -hmm. I, I agree that it's a small yeah. space and people are going to walk through and, and their impression will be that of color mm -hmm. with the with the abstract, right? There will be no understanding of the, what this is. It'll just be a, a, absolutely a flyby yeah. of mm -hmm. color, right? I, so the intent of the non-representation would art be is this, that, yeah. right? It would just be yeah. like somebody painted the wall colors at the end, right? Because you're walking through. It's a little space. So I, I don't disagree. I think in the in the case of the representational piece, though, somebody might actually stop and look at it because there's something to there's see there. Art. It's a story mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, but I see if I had the same thought yeah. earlier that you yeah. have, that you know, it's it's just such a quick second that you go through. So um I think they're both amazing for completely different reasons. I think that whether it represents a culture or not, I think we have to bear in mind that we are definitely gonna we do touch upon all different cultures in this town. And maybe the next mural will be more representative of other cultures. Um, but this is what we have. And I just think we need to go. Yeah, no, I think what Joni said, it's a point in time. Yeah, it is. It so is. you can't recreate it as you'd like to recreate it. Perhaps. That's right. Well, oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Okay. Um, actually, I personally come from a non-white multicultural community, so we actually had a big discussion within our um, social media app about the murals. 
for the first picture, no single person mm -hmm. in my community. Um, I mean, again, I only represent a fraction of multicultural community. No one single person brought up the concern about that being mm -hmm. too white because they mm -hmm. understand the focus of picture A is really on history. Mm -hmm. Now, someone did bring up that concern for the third one, mm -hmm. but that is not <laughs> in question right now. So mm -hmm. that's Sorry. just like some opinions from some of the oh, non-white, yeah, that's cultural that's community. Right. Yeah. 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 But I also understand where you're coming from. I do too. Right. I yeah. share that. I, I know um, that, that history. Well, well, I, I, I just think it's such a racially sensitive time. And um, I, I agree with some of the concerns that you said, because we don't know how big the sample, well, actually, we do know how big, because I've read somewhere how big the sample was. It's not a very big sample of, of residents that voted on it. Um, but I think if we go for the first one, because most people voted for it, I think that we should do two things, take from two suggestions. One is to have some sort of plan that explains the history of it, so that explains who yeah. was. That's so it's also not one. something. I think yeah. said we uh, so, yeah. it's, so it's also not something that you know you look at and you think, well, I don't understand what this is about. So it is a learning experience for people, and then I think in the future, I think we need to have some sort of prompt, um, and I think we mm. need to be careful mm. about acknowledging. Our various cultures here, either indigenous or African American or uh, Indi whatever, you know. But I think we do need to be sensitive towards that. Absolutely. So are we ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Ready to vote? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Are we, what, should we make a motion to yes. move? Okay. I move that we vote on the two options, mm -hmm. the abstract or the illustration. I can have to do one at one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so you want to change the motion? I change the motion. Okay. I move that we vote on the um, abstract design. Okay. How many people? Oh, second the motion. Second. Second. Um, how many approve the motion? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now the, the vote. Now we vote on how many believe that we should choose the abstract as the mural to go into 91 Chapel Street. I have to. Okay. Three, three. three. Okay. The second, um, now you made a second I motion. motion to vote on the, the, so the, the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Knit together. Tight knit. Okay. Tight knit. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How many um, second the motion? Second. Second. All approve of the motion. All opposed. How many approve of the uh, mural tight, uh, tight knit to be the mural to go into 91 Chapel Street? Okay. That's it. How many people is that second? <laughs> Uh, raise your hands again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, we also have to do a thing about like there was recommendations of adding explanation, right? So that's something that she asked for. Oh, yeah, she wrote it. So we can ask her, do you want to shorten it? Do you want to put it in something that we can put in a oh, box somewhere? Something else that was suggested is um, uh, that. You know that it highlights this immigrant experience, right? Mm -hmm. And that it yeah, also she is, highlights. She she talks mm -hmm. about that, yeah. and then you know make that really clear. Yeah. And yeah. because I think that mm -hmm. is a little bit more welcoming too. And right. You have, you know, because you're not because it is more of a white space. Yeah. Space. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, they were the Irish were immigrants here, and even though they were, you know, light skinned, like the the uh the European Jews and the some of the Italians and they, they were, not, were we were all considered right. different groups. We right. all were not necessarily warmly welcomed. Exactly. Right. And, it's a and I think process. it's I think it so so like I, another thing that came up in the meeting was doing like well we don't have to stop at two murals if it, it, the people seem to really enjoy the idea that most people seem to be enjoy the idea that there's you know more visual art and meeting on that scale. Mm -hmm. 
and they want more meals. There are a couple of people. There was one person that said something rather funny about about not wanting it, but on the whole, it was pretty positive <laughs> feedback. So it's better um, than looking at a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. There are so many in Needham. <laughs> Every time I now, whenever I drive around Needham, I said, that wall. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do you have uh, 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 yeah, Chris, uh, Charlene, sorry. A lot of C's here. I totally agree with you. As somebody who's lived here, yeah. <laughs> um, when we moved in, to be very frank, my next door neighbor said, welcome to the whitest town in Massachusetts. And I went, uh-oh, that's not what I signed up for. I wanted to bring my children up and, you know, so we waited a long time, but I'm so happy with now what Needham is with, with I have Asian neighbors. I have mm -hmm. Indian neighbors, several whom I absolutely adore. I have, I'm learning Chinese from my neighbor across the street. Mm -hmm. My so, mouth doesn't get around it, but that's the important. That's so um, now the next one, hmm. maybe. Okay, so, yeah. and, and also in regards to a prompt, there, there was a very open in the prompt. Yeah. There was some guidelines about that. Like just in terms of thinking about the space <laughs> and thinking about um, what, you know, the town that it would be in, and so. It was a good fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring this tomorrow. I'm gonna call the owner of the building. I'm sure he'll be very pleased and very excited. Um, he was afraid that we would do something crazy. And I said, nothing will be crazy. Um, I don't know, maybe he doesn't like what and, <laughs> He might not like the pages that very, around very around excited. And so we have, yeah. we have five yeah. minutes if you guys want to break. Yeah, one, one quick question. Does Alice know about the air conditioner? Yes, okay. she has been to the site. Okay. She knows all the. <clears throat> so we might want to suggest that she incorporate painting that yeah. into mm -hmm. it instead of ignoring it. it I'm sure she knows. Yeah, okay. Or just find out what she's going to do with it. And the pipes, and the there's a water thing that comes up, and I mean it's in the photograph. So yeah, I think so. And she has been, and the room, it's not going to be a shock. And she left that side blank, or more blank than this. So, all right. So we have five minutes if people want to use the bathroom. Yeah. Good idea. Should we just talk about it? I'm going to do that right now. So what is the I have a meeting. I have a meeting.